Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mr. Lawrence and in today's video I will show you all the top clothing glitches in GTA 5 Online and the timestamps for each clothing glitch will be in the description below. But before we begin, check out Aurora Resupply. They provide multiple GTA services such as modded accounts, money and rank boost for all platforms. They are really fast and reliable. The link will be in the description below and let's get straight into the video. First I will show you all how to get a fully checkerboard modded outfit. This glitch will delete all your saved outfits, so equip one outfit that you want to keep. Then delete all your saved outfits. Now open your pass menu, go to online and swap character. Your first character has to be a male and your second character has to be a female, otherwise it won't work. If you are making a new female second character, copy the rank from your main character. Then just load into online and make your way over to any clothing store. If they don't appear, just find a new session and they will appear. I already made a component outfit, so first go to the accessories. Now to gloves and equip the refuse collector gloves. Then go to necklaces and purchase number 10. Then go to the glasses, casual glasses and purchase the black marbles. Now go to the hats, canvas hats and purchase the second to last one. Now head over to the pants. Go to jeans and purchase the black cropped, number 38. Then go to the shoe section. Go to high heels and purchase number 46. Now come over to the tops. Go to tank tops and purchase the two tone tank. Stay in the top section, go to track jackets and purchase the black track jacket. Now you can save this outfit in any slot. I also made some other modded outfits, so don't mind the outfit that I'm wearing right now. But now you will need to take the easy way out through your interaction menu. This will create a game save, now open your pass menu, go to online and start creator. Once you are in creator, create a race, then select tutorial and accept this alert. Now open your pass menu again, go to online and choose character. Now you will need to delete your second character, so your female character. Then press circle or B to go back to story mode. When you are in story mode, go straight back to online. Once you are back in online, you will still have the outfit that you wanted to keep. Just save this outfit in any empty slot. Now you can equip your checkerboard outfit and save it in a different outfit slot if you want to. From here you can purchase this mask over at the mask store and then you can do the telescope glitch. So run up to any telescope and spam right on your d-pad. When your character glitches out, equip your checkerboard outfit. Now walk away and the mask will merge on your outfit. And from here, you can save this outfit again. Moving on to the second clothing glitch, I will show you how you can get a face bandana with any hat and glasses that you want. First go to the mask store, then to the crime section and purchase any of these face bandanas. Now go to the hat section and purchase a biker helmet. Now save this outfit in any slot.
Now you can equip any of the backward caps. When you did that, make your way over to a streetcar. Now open your interaction menu, go to style and hover over the outfit that you just saved. Then hover over parachute, press triangle or Y to get in the car and quickly equip your outfit when your character is in the car. From here you will need to register as a CEO or VIP and go to management. Now to style and go once to the right. Now you will need to get on a bike and right when you do that, switch your CEO outfit back to the left. You should now have a bandana with your hat. Save this outfit in any slot. If you want to remove your glasses, go to the clothing store, go to glasses and remove them or add a different pair of glasses. Now I will show you how to get scuba flippers on land. First equip a scuba outfit that you like. Then go to any body of water. Now open your interaction menu, go to style, scroll down to walk style and hold right on the d-pad for 20 seconds. When you did that, do the same for illuminated clothing. When you did that, find a new session. When you are back, you should have a glitched scuba outfit. Save this outfit in any slot. From here you will need to equip any of the first three bodysuits. Then you will need to do the telescope glitch to merge this bodysuit mask on your scuba outfit. When you did that, go to the clothing store, go to tops, then to suit jackets and equip any of the tailcoat jackets. When you back out, you will see the scuba flippers. You can't change your pants, but you can change the top. You can still make a pretty cool outfit with this glitch and let's move on to the next and final glitch. The last one is an invisible arms glitch and we will need a scuba suit again. Save your scuba outfit and equip a bodysuit again. Now do the telescope glitch again to merge this bodysuit mask on your scuba outfit. Then go to the mask store, tops, vests and equip any of these normal vests. It's almost 4th of July so I will equip this one. Then make your way over to the sea. Now swim till your character has the scuba gear, then open your interaction menu and take the easy way out. You will respawn with permanent invisible arms, you can now save it and from here you can make a cool 4th of July outfit. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more and I will catch you in the next one, bye bye.